This card is so much fun. Um, if you want, you can use a printed paper for the uh, background of the inside of the card, but I like to use a solid so that I've got more room to write my holiday greetings there. If you're following along without the kit or you just want to recreate this card another time for another occasion um, with different colors and papers and embellishments, here's your supply list. You definitely want to make sure that you pick up some of this strong double-sided tape. I bought ThermaWeb. Um, it's, it's really strong. It's really going to give you a good hold. So begin with your 12 inch by 4 inch card base, folding it in half. A bone folder isn't required, but it will really help you get the nice sharp creases that you want, especially for a card like this with its twist and pop mechanism. Adhere a piece of festive paper to the center of the front that measures three and three quarter inches by five and three quarter inches, just slightly smaller than the card itself, giving you a nice border around the edges. Now I used a tape runner on this for the class to save time for the video, uh, but you can go ahead and use your liquid adhesive if you ordered the kit or any of your favorite adhesives that you usually use for paper crafting is, is fine for this part. Layer on a coordinating piece that measures three and a half by five and a half inches. We'll come back to the cover at the end, but for now open your card and add a couple pieces of 3 and 3 quarter by 5 and 3 quarter paper to the inside cover of your card. Again, you can use solid or printed here. Um, I went with the solid just so there's more room for your holiday greetings. From the kit, grab your 3 inch by 8 inch piece of cardstock or cut your own if you're following along with your own supplies. Um, I'm going to show you this step from two angles. I'll zoom in next so you can see the folds up close. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half each way, horizontal and vertical. And then after you've done that, flip it over so that the creases pop upwards. And then you're going to take uh, the bottom corners up one at a time and bring them across the piece of paper diagonally until the original half fold lines match up. And then you're going to make a crease and then unfold it and do the other bottom corner so that you have an X. See, it gives you a new X there. And then when you fold, it automatically starts to fold up. You can fold it a couple different ways, but you wanna make sure that you fold it together so that it looks kind of like two vertical um, rectangles with a triangle sitting on top of them, opposed to a square with a triangle on top. So let's zoom in now and see that up close. First, you'll fold it in half horizontally and then vertically. And make sure you have the paper facing the same direction for both of these folds so that you get the creases going the right direction. So after you fold it in half the second time, unfold it and then flip it over so the creases pop up and pull the diagonal, the bottom corners up diagonally so that those original half fold lines line up and make a perfect line right there. And when they do, go ahead and make a crease using your bone tool. So when you unfold it, you'll see the new X in the creases that you just created and then it'll you can it'll fold together a couple different ways you want to make sure that you fold it together so that it has the two vertical rectangles with the triangle on top of it 
opposed to one solid square with the triangle on top. Now grab the 3 by 10 inch piece of cardstock and fold it in half. Then fold both of the ends backwards and line them up with the first fold. Make sure you line them up carefully because if you're off here at all, it's really going to show. Let's zoom in and give you a closer look at that. So first you're going to fold it in half, then leaving it folded, peel the loose ends back to the original fold and make your crease. When you unfold the whole thing, it should look like a W. Next, grab four pieces of paper that are two and a quarter by three and a quarter inches that match your card base and lay them out in the order that you want them. They're gonna go on your pop-out mechanism. Adhere them to your W, centering each one in each of the four panels. Make sure that you adhere them to the W and not the M so that the paper pops out right when you open the card at the end. Now since I used a solid color for the background, I decided to use more busy prints for this pop out, but you could definitely reverse the color pattern and do the printed on the background and do uh, more solid colors on the pop out if you wanted to write your message, say, on there. Um, I like to write the message on the back of the card though and put some fun embellishments on the pop out part. Alright, now let's add this pop-up to the card. You're going to want to pull out the red tape for this. Um, this tape's a little pricey. I use ThermaWeb's double-sided tape, um, but it's, it's really worth using because with all the pulling that it happens um, with the pop-up mechanism when you're opening the card, you're really going to want that secure hold. Now, if you ordered our kit, you got an entire roll of this great tape. Um, but you're only going to use a little bit for this. You really only need um, two pieces that are just like an inch and a half long or so. And you put them on the top part of the triangle. And then you're going to remove the, the backing on it. And you're going to want to position it centered on the inside of your card just below that center fold line. The very tip of it's actually going to be um, placed right above that solid background color that you already added. Open up the W part and line up the center of the W with the very center of the pop-out mechanism. Fold the panel on the far right in and add a piece of right tape to the upper half only of the pop-out mechanism. Make sure you only put the adhesive above the fold line. Again, you don't need much, just a piece or two will do. Make sure the W piece is still centered and fold the other side panel um, in, just like you did the right side. Fold the left side in, and then you're gonna apply the red adhesive just to the bottom half of the exposed part of the pop-out mechanism. This helps you get that good twist and pop when it opens, pulling on the diagonal corners like that. Okay, now fold your pop-out up. 
The first time you have you fold it up, you're going to have to help it a little bit. Just use your finger to push in that top part a little. Then it will follow the folds without resistance. Try to fold it a second time and it should fold correctly. When you fold it up, if the mechanism looks like a solid piece in the shape of a house, um, just turn the page, as it were, um, to get back to the triangle sitting on top of two rectangles. If you don't do this step correctly, your pop-out won't work right. Um, once you get it back to the two rectangles with the triangle on top, um, add the red tape just like you did on the other side of the triangle and peel back the backing and shut the card to secure the pop-out in place. This card has a bit going on already, but a couple subtle embellishments look nice. Our kit comes with a festive ornament decoration and some decorative tape. 